Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the Sonos system. This episode, we're going to talk about how you can control your Sonos system from your mobile device. Now, while you can control the Sonos system from your desktop, that's not always convenient. Sometimes you're in a completely different room from where your notebook or your desktop is, and you just want to be able to listen to the music in that room. Now, your Sonos gear can be controlled from a Sonos branded controller that you can get at the same place where you buy your Sonos gear but that's a bit of a pricey option, especially when you can actually just use your iPad, your iPhone, or one of your Android devices. Now the nicest thing about using one of the devices that you already have to control your Sonos is rather than spending a couple hundred bucks on a device that's actually Sonos branded, you can actually go to the iTunes store or the Android market and download the app for free. You'll go through the usual process of finding the application in the store of your choice, and then you'll install it. Once it's done installing, you'll tap on the app to open it. Once you've launched it, it'll give you an option to set up your Sonos system now. It'll give you a warning screen about setting up a new system, but since we've already done that, we're going to hit Next. It'll ask you to tap on one of the buttons on your devices to connect it to your existing Sonos system. So you'll need to make sure that your iPhone or iPad or your Android device is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that your Sonos system is already plugged into. That way they'll be able to talk to each other over the network. Again, provided that your mobile device is on the same network as your Sonos devices, it should automatically connect to each other once you press the button on top of the Sonos device. The app will then access the music library you've already built on your Sonos system and indexed on your computer. So now you can actually use your mobile device to connect to your Sonos system and control it even when your computer is in another room. And if your music is actually on a network attached storage device, you can actually control the Sonos device even when your other computers are turned off. Now, of course, if you're using one of the smartphone devices, it'll give you a small compact interface for controlling the system. If you're using one of the tablet versions, it'll give you more information in one go and much better control. So you can see what's in your queue, what's in your library, and what's playing right now all on the same screen if you're using the iPad controller, for example. And using the iPad controller, you actually have a little bit more flexibility over your queue than when you're using the desktop controller. So, for example, you can insert something next rather than having to put something right at the very end of your queue or play it instead of the things that you're playing right now. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you other ways of interacting with your Sonos system. And you can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.